Hey everyone, it's Mike from the SEO Pub. And recently Screaming Frog released another update with some pretty cool features. And one of them makes it really easy to integrate AI with your crawls inside Screaming Frog. And I wanna show you how to do that today. Before I do that though, make sure you head over to the seopub.com, sign up for the newsletter there where I send out tips like this every single week. You can also join the free Slack community where you can ask SEO questions, talk to other SEOs, and join a bunch of people in there who are learning about SEO. Also, if you wanna learn about how I help organizations increase their search visibility by connecting their content with the right audience at the right time, make sure you head over to clickconsulting.com and hit the consulting button there. All right, so let's jump into Screaming Frog. Now, a few months ago, Screaming Frog had an update where you could use ChatGPT prompts in it by using some of the custom JavaScript options um, and the custom extraction. And it worked pretty well. Um, it was a little clunky to kind of use and, and, and integrate, but they've done something now where they made it really simple to use, not just ChatGPT, but other, uh, a couple other AI options as well. All you have to do, if you go into Screaming Frog, go to the configuration and go to API access. And they've actually integrated it now directly in here. And you'll see that the last option is AI. And you can use OpenAI, which is ChatGPT. You can use Gemini or uh, I think it's Olama. But we're just gonna use uh, ChatGPT. So you go into OpenAI and you'll be prompted to enter in an API key here. If you don't have an API key, you need to create one in OpenAI. But you can just click this link here. It'll walk you right through it. It's really easy to do. You will have to pay for these uh, prompts, but it's like a fraction of a cent for, for each one. It's, it's really cheap, um, unless you're doing like millions of these. And once you have that set up, you go in the prompt configuration. Screaming Frog has given us a few prompts to work with that you can get started with, which um, one it is it'll detect inappropriate content. You can do one where it does uh, extracts embeddings from page content. You can generate alt text for images which is a pretty pretty neat one if you have a, a big site that is missing alt text. It'll use OpenAI's ability to read images and generate alt text for them. Um, there's one to take a look at the intent of a page, language of a page, and sentiment of a page. Um, just as an example, we'll do the alt text one. So you insert that, and what it's doing is it's gonna use ChatGPT, it's gonna use the 4.0 model. Uh, it's gonna look at images and then there's a prompt here, which will expand that. Uh, I'm not gonna read through this whole thing, but basically it's saying to create alt tags that are 30 words or less. Um, so someone who can't really see the image would understand what it's about. And it gives a, a framework for how to write the, the alt text. So that's one option you can do. You can also add your own prompts. So if you hit the add button, you can set up your own here. So let's say, for example, I wanted to do a crawl and create summaries of the content on a page. So we'll just name it summary of content. We're gonna use ChatGPT. We're gonna keep the 4.0 model. I want to look at HTML. And you have these options that you can read through. We're just gonna look at the page text and then we're gonna create a prompt. So we'll just say, I want you to So I'm just gonna write just a really simple prompt here. I want you to create a summary of the content on this page. Use headings and bullet points in your summary. And you'll notice here it says it's not configured because you have to uh, store HTML in order to do this because we're reading the HTML. We're gonna fix that in a moment. So if we hit okay, and I'm not gonna run the image prompt. Okay, then for this we need to go to configuration, go to spider extraction, and we need to store the HTML, hit okay. And I'm just gonna go ahead and crawl my own site. Okay, I stopped it part way through because we don't need to go through the whole thing here, but after you crawl a site or whatever pages that you wanna crawl, if you click on the tab here and there's a new tab AI, you go to that. And you'll see, so I created summary of content. This is the column that I created. It didn't go through all the pages because I stopped it yet, but you can see it has some of these um, summarized for us. So just as an example. So I'm just gonna take one of these here and we're gonna copy it. And I'll just bring a little text editor here. We'll paste it in there. 
and you can see it did a summary where it created these headings. It does it. It did it in Markdown, um, but it created headings. Does some bullet point summary of each point on the page, and uh, created a little summary there. Which this can be a prompt like this. I you could dig into it a little more, make it a little better, but it would be really useful if you're doing a, a content audit on a site to not necessarily have to read every single word on the the site, but get an idea of what the pages are about and then go from there. So like I said, they did have the ability to integrate AI into crawls before this, but this new way, just using the API access, makes it so much easier to just go in here, connect your API key, and then create whatever prompts you wanna run on your next crawl. And it's just so much simpler to do it this way. So that's it for this video. Again, if you haven't already, head over to the seopub.com, sign up for the newsletter there, and I'll catch everyone in the next one.